Well, anyway, I just wanted to say, I'm so happy all of you are here. When I first floated this idea of starting a rock band at the Goldman School of Dental Medicine, back in October of 2010, I spoke to Dr. Harrington and Dr. Weinberg. Uh, I really thought initially it would just be great to have some fun with some colleagues. And then I started to realize that there was maybe a greater possibility that I wanted to show all you guys that doctors are not just doctors, that they're complete human beings with passions and creativity and talent. And I thought it would be great to bring all that together and celebrate. So that's kind of what we're here to do today, tonight. Um, I did want to thank a couple of people. I want to thank Dr. Ortega, especially because it was uh, my collaboration with him that allowed this to work. It would have never worked otherwise. And I also wanted to thank the Assistant Dean for Happiness and Joy, Dr. Calabrese, the man who makes all wonderful things happen. And I especially wanted to thank the wives and the girlfriends of the Mental Blocks. Most especially my wife, Karen. And uh, a very special thank you to Mrs. Harrington Alana, yeah! who basically allowed us to throw her out of her house for probably six months of Sundays. So she was very gracious and taking the girls out and allowing us to make all kinds of noise in the basement at, at the Harrington's house. So in any case, uh, I wanted to thank them especially. And uh, let's have some fun. Oh, mm -hmm. 
couple of weeks ago, Topeka, who was about to graduate, said to me, Dr. Moran, are you going to play any new songs? I said, well, if you consider the 1980s new. This is a song about a girl named Jenny who left yeah, her Jenny. phone number. Right left her phone number on the bathroom wall. This is before Craigslist. It's for Joe Calabrese. Dr. Weinberg. Chris Bickford. <laughs> On keyboards, guitar and backing vocals, the Elvis 
of Newton Corner, Massachusetts, Dr. Sherman Tabishbaum. Yeah. On drums behind me, I'm making sure I blow out at least one hearing aid tonight. The terror of Toronto. Habib, two sticks, Tarzan. On guitar to my right, from the Bronx, New York, the Eye Man, Dr. Ira Weinberg. And to my left, on guitar, ukulele, and sometimes mandolin even, from Wellesley, Massachusetts, Dr. Fred the Hammer Harrington. This next song we're going to do, there's a small story behind it for me. One of the very first albums that I ever owned was the Allman Brothers Live at the Fillmore East, and I tell people that I used to almost eat my meals off that. I bought that album in 1971, and listening to that album, um, I decided to try to teach myself how to play harmonica. So this goes way back, it was a long time ago, and the first concert I ever saw was the Allman Brothers, but on the Allman Brothers Live from the Fillmore East, this was the first song, Stormy Monday.
it, Chervis. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh First of all, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take you back a little bit uh, to a warm, uh, to a warm summer night uh, down south in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, where a young man was just, you know, playing around with his guitar, and he created a sound. The young man was later known as the king of rock and roll. That studio was Sam Phillips Studio, and uh, the sound he created is now what we know as rock and roll. And uh, it Sound sounded, studio. yeah, Sound it, it, studio. Sam Phillips, yeah. So it sounded something like this. <laughs> to a lecture and the elevator doesn't work. Well it goes something like this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
service tattered for This next song is sort of started out in the 50s, um, but we much prefer the version that The Clash did. So I fought the law. 1978. I was just about to graduate from college. I hate to think of it.
Rex, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only song where we're actually trying the only song where we're actually trying to get feedback to with amplifiers. This next tune is from an Irish band called the Water Boys. Um, it's called Fisherman's Blues. It's a personal favorite of Dr. Weinberg's. It's got a little bit of a different pace to it than what we've been playing. Shows how diverse we are. Is there any Irish in the house? Most of you'll know it. This is another really new song for us from the 1980s. 